Hello. Howdy. Guess where we are. <laughs> <laughs> We're just outside of Tombstone, Arizona. In, in Huachuca City, Arizona, nearby Fort Huachuca, which is a historic army fort from the area. Uh, it's the home of the 10th Cavalry, the Buffalo Soldiers. Uh, the African American Regiment kept in place until World War II, I guess, before they were disbanded. Kind of a pity. It'd be kind of cool to still have the Buffalo Soldiers Regiment active. But they're not, so anyway. <laughs> So we did a day trip to Tombstone today, but we're not here to talk about Tombstone because nope. that is so next week. <laughs> <laughs> but I had to wear the hat, show off the new hat. Yes, Rick I, I had broke to, down and finally got a Stetson. <laughs> I had to have me a new Stetson. Yep. 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 I fits in now. Yep. I just need I just need some leather for my hog leg, and we should be good. Yep. Anyway, so mostly we're here to talk about Mesa which is the, where we were the last two weeks. Mesa Spirits RV yep, Resort. Yep, Mesa Spirit RV Resort. Yes. Yep. Uh, it's a Thousand Trails Resort, our first time at Thousand Trails. We're it's all, an Encore. Encore Resort, yeah, part of the Trails collection. Um, and we're already starting to think about upgrading our membership to the Lifetime and so mm -hmm. we can do three weeks at, at, a, at any park, or well, any of the Thousand Trails parks, and then go park to park. Yes. Because uh, there's a lot of park to park we could do through Texas, and Florida, and up the East Coast. And yeah. It would probably more than pay for itself fairly quickly. Big time. So. It would. So, so Mesa Spirit really, I was kind of the first thought when Rick told me there were how many spots? 1,667 spaces. There. Yeah. <laughs> I was a little worried. I, my first thought was, oh my god, it's like... A parking uh, lot. <laughs> yeah, or like sardines. It just packed yeah. in there. Um, over time, though, you could, could see the little communities, the people that would get together and they'd have little barbecues, little parties, little things in their little groups in their neighborhoods, yeah. different things going on, um, stuff at the clubhouses. Yeah, and it's kind of a combination of full-timers that are there, uh, that, that own that own a lot basically, and mm -hmm. they're there for the whole winter. This is Sunbird territory, um, and there's a lot of Thousand Trails members there's, that are there for two, two weeks or whatever and moving on, but uh, yeah, it's a, it's a huge park. It's a nice park. Uh, it is. Three swimming pools, man. Three yes. swimming pools. I'm like really <laughs> kind of bummed that tonight I can't go swimming. We won't yeah. a lot. Swimming would be nice tonight. Yeah, it so. would. <laughs> oh, it's okay. One week. Yeah, one week here, and then we're going up to Benson, where we'll be for two more weeks. Still close to Tombstone, so. Yep. We've got three weeks right around Tombstone, and I'm starting to feel like I fit in. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Um, lots of great things to that park. It really, really yeah. was good. Yeah, it was. I, I enjoyed mean, there, it. There, there were a lot of activities going on. I went over and talked to the Thousand Trails salesperson um, last Friday. It was our mm -hmm. second to last day there. and Started looking at some of the different plans for upgrades and all that. Mm -hmm. And where he was at was a country store that they set up. A uh, couple, yeah. couple days a week, they from 10 in the morning till 1 or 2 in the afternoon. It's mm -hmm. a lot of the residents of the park set up tables in the um, the dining area, I guess yeah. you could say. Uh, and, they, and, and sell stuff, like a little flea market. I mean, whatever mm -hmm. they, I mean, I bought some CBD, CBD oil for the dogs. Um, hoping that will help out a little bit, maybe with riders' legs and also nervousness driving. Yeah, that was a so far I'm, I, I, I'm thinking I may need to try his, up his dosage a little bit. But anyway. Yeah. But there was some cool stuff there, and I had lunch over there. They had hot dogs and sandwiches going mm -hmm. on for lunch. And they get, they, they've got activities going on pretty much all the time. They mm -hmm. uh, Every Saturday, you put a paper clip outside your door, and they hang a, a list of the next week's activities on your paper yep. clip, or your not paper clip, your clothesline, clothes mm -hmm. pin. Um, 
mail delivered right to you. You have a mailbox. Yeah, there's a mailbox right at your yeah. site. They give you the address for where you are, your the, the, the zone you're in or whatever. Uh, you just put in your space number and the mail gets delivered right to your rig. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. I saw Amazon delivery trucks going through there every day. Mm -hmm. UPS, FedEx, USPS, all of them just delivering to whoever. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I mean, it, it's not the kind of park I thought I was going to like a lot because it's freaking huge. And, and it's in a city. Yeah, and it's in the middle of a city, a big yeah. city. But I really liked it. It so was a I. nice place. I, yeah. I mean, it was huge. It was somewhat crowded. But we didn't feel squished in. No. At all. I mean, there was plenty of room in our space. We, I, It was a, a little bit of a narrow space to get into, but it was a great big deal. Yeah, uh, we had room to park our car next to the uh, to the rig and still have a patio in between the mm -hmm. two, so that was good. Yeah, um, dog course, park just down the road. Yeah, of course it, it's not. More people will be there by January. Yeah, by January they'd be filled up. It might be a little different, but I still really really enjoyed it there. Yeah, only um, the downfall they had a hell of a lot of cactuses. They did. It's cool. Like, it's I love the cactuses. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Big old saguaros hanging over the swimming pool. It was good. Yeah. Yeah. That's the downfall. But lemon trees Go and Go lay down. Um, Go lay down. palm trees and just really, really nice. <laughs> Done really well. They had exercise rooms. Go they had down. billiard rooms. I mean, yeah. there was like really nice pool tables. Yeah. So, um, yeah, lots nice. of activities. So, hopefully we'll see how the next Encore Resort it is. Yeah. So, we'll see. Yeah, and if we were staying there for a while, they had a wood shop you could join, a lapidary shop, a um, gem shop. What else was there? I, I mean, uh, ceramics. Ceramics, square dancing, dances, yeah. live music, bands playing. Yep. All kinds of stuff going on. Constantly. It, it, it was on. age restrictive. Yeah. Well, yeah. you got to be 55 or some one person in your party needs to be 55 or older to stay there. Yeah. Although there may be a loophole because I met a 37 year old guy that's living there with his wife who also ain't 55. So yeah. I don't know how they got in, but it was cool. He's a nice guy. So what about yeah. You know. Yeah. So um, they said not a whole lot to go out and do. You guys really not a whole lot. Well, there's a lot to do. It's just like eating. It's, it's, it's like in any a big city. city. It's the yeah. same stuff you can do in any city. Yeah. So it's nothing really new and exciting, exciting. to do. Yeah. In Mesa. So we found it, our didn't. favorite place to eat. Oh, the gyro shop. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah. 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 It was, it was good. good. It was really good. It was really good. They got good gyros there, mm -hmm. and 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 uh, Culvers. Culver's. Yeah, that's a fast food place we've never been to. Yeah, so it was good. It was yeah. good. Found so. a couple of spots over there. Yeah, that we're, we're going to. They got an Albertsons, which was kind of a surprise, a blast from home. I wasn't yeah. expecting to see that. I'm used to fries and bashes in Arizona, but I didn't know they yeah. had an Albertsons down yep. here now. So I yep, guess yep. they do. But uh, yeah, there's oh, like like she said, there's not a lot to do. I mean, the Superstition Mountains are not too far away. We didn't get there. No. Um, there's, <laughs> we were swimming. Yeah, we were too busy swimming. Um, there, there's a cool place that you'll see in the video. We'll show you some clips of that uh, sells big old metal sculptures. That was just about a Southwest half. Pottery. Yeah. And oh, man. it's like <laughs> the couple, one of them does the metal sculptures, the other does yeah. the pottery, and both of them are just their artists. Yeah. And, and I mean, it's like. A couple acres worth of stuff, yeah. and I mean, life-size giraffe sculptures out of steel, life-size three-headed three-headed. Well, I guess what would what, what, probably be life-size. I don't know. I don't know how big a three-headed dragon actually is, but Maybe. it was big. <laughs> <laughs> it was big. Yeah. So. We'll share the clips of those. I'm sure Rick will get yeah. that in here so yeah. you guys can There'll see. Yeah, a few other things we can show you. Some some shots of around the park and the pool. And yeah. we, we did a little bit of a hello from the from from the pool at night one night. So we'll throw that in there at some yeah. point. Um, yeah, there, there's a little bit to see and do here. Mason itself is great. I mean, temperature you can't beat it. It was in 70s and 80s 
the whole time we were there. It didn't get over <laughs> 81. So, and it had a nice breeze. So, I was comfortable because normally I prefer the 70s. Um, but it was it was comfortable. It was good. Like so. they say in Arizona, it's a dry heat. <laughs> it is that. It leaves your desiccated corpse on the desert floor. That's what it does. <laughs> <laughs> so, it was fine. Minus the the cactuses, I would even more so give it five stars, but... I give them five stars for the cactus. <laughs> I just wish they had some smaller ones I could have chucked at her. So just to remind her, a little bit of memories from her childhood, I, I thought it, that I couldn't do that for no. her. So. No. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. So, I think that's it. Yeah, that's about it. There wasn't a whole lot... To, to talk about there except for the park itself which was kind of the reason for being there and checking out Thousand Trails and realizing that Thousand Trails rocks dude <laughs> <laughs> if, well, if there, if there, I'm sure there's some bad parks out there I, I, in fact I know from what I've heard of the reviews the one in Vegas sucks um, but we'll but, see but we'll experience yeah, ourselves yeah we'll find out we may find some bad ones we'll find some good ones we'll find some other ones and yeah. Keep on traveling on and see what we can see. Yeah. So, everybody, thank you that has subscribed on YouTube and followed us on Facebook. If you have not done so yet, please do. This helps us yeah. get the word out. Share our video. Um, yeah. Share the, Pass you know. Around. I don't know what you call it. Our stories, our talks, our yeah. listening yeah. to yeah. him make a fool of himself. No, no. no. <laughs> Yeah, uh, subscribe, like the video if you think it's worth it, damn. Um, if you have questions! Hit, hit the little notification bell if you want to see our next, get a notification for our next video yeah. when it comes out. If you have questions, yeah. comment on there. We're usually pretty good at getting back to you pretty quickly there. Yeah. So, okay? Yeah. Don't, don't be afraid to comment. We can take it. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, you guys. Yeah. You have a great day. Bye. Down the road. Bye. into the park. Got a security gate coming in with a gate guard in it. Let's kind of go around this way. 24 7. Yeah. It is a huge park. Tennis courts over here or whatever mm -hmm. over here. Pickleball, yeah. Pickleball actually. Yeah. Which mm -hmm. I guess is tennis like but yeah. I'm not sure what the difference is supposed to be. Some pretty big rigs and yeah. very elaborate to living spaces oh. outside of it. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that one's pretty. I well, got some big old spendy looking RVs here. Yep. And some smaller, <laughs> not so spendy looking ones. Yeah. So, I mean, there's, there's a decent mix in here. Some of them are a little bit older. Still plenty of spots open, but from the sounds of it, that's going to change the further into the winter it goes. Yeah. This place had, what, 1,600 spots? 1,667 spaces. Yeah. A lot of park models, you'll see. And there's rental. Oh, yeah. Someone yeah, rented. Somebody, somebody here with a camper. <clears throat> now, some RV parks have, like, an age range when it comes to your rig but others like this one obviously does not they're pretty good about it <clears throat> there's definitely some a little bit older ones in here that park model looks like it's been here for a little while yeah. <laughs> a couple of those. big old park you could definitely get lost in here and have done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, looking for one of the pools. There's three pools. So three swimming pools in two different locations.
kind of sprinkle the park models and the RVs pretty much wherever it looks like. There's yeah. no real rhyme or reason to them that I'm seeing. We've got a park model almost right next door to us where we're parked and they're, most of the rest are RVs. Park. Decent activities going on. Which we totally missed out on this weekend doing other stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it goes on forever. We're not even halfway through this sucker yet. Sunset in Arizona most of the time. Now I'm lost. Where is this? Oh, we're back this way. No. no. Oh. No, we're back behind wow. it. We're behind okay. it. Pool's See? back over this way. See? We almost got lost again. <laughs> we went clearing past it. Spirit. This is the adult only pool. And there's another one just around the corner. Looks like I got shuffleboard and stuff over here. Yeah, something like that. Howdy. Kids are allowed in the pool over here, but not in the other one, which is a good way to go. Mmm, something smells good. Somebody's cooking something. Oh no. There's a saguaro over there. Okay. <laughs> Gonna give you a quick view. Don't want to necessarily bug people in the pools. The shower there. It's a nice place. Okay. Okay, we're at Southwest Pottery in Mesa. Got big old outdoor market with all kinds of stuff. Cool stuff. Really cool stuff. Anybody need a raptor? I do. <laughs> I need that raptor. That is too cool. And it's got Unicorns. A, got a, a little raptor. Flowers. Roadrunners. Roadrunners. Oh, wow. Where's the coyotes? <laughs> I don't know. Gotta show the unicorn, baby. Where is it? Oh, that right, right there. A unicorn. Yeah, look at that. Giraffes and dinosaurs and pigs and lizards and dragons. Ooh, that's a cool dragon. Look at that dragon. Got ants. Ants. I love the ants. Got 
three headed dragon. That's cool. How wild is that, huh? Great furniture. Ankylosaurus. Ooh, that's cool. <laughs> Not totally cool, is this? God. Yeah. Cool looking suns there. I like that one in the center. With the coyotes and the saguaro. That is nifty. Not this one right here. That is pretty cool too, but not as good as this one. They got a back to it, they're a light. Space. <laughs> Thinking more. How big a yard do I need? Pretty big. All right, we got this king size dragon here. here looks like that is a dragon baby holy cow look at that guessing that's 6900 may be the price on that puppy that is totally cool hang on to your hair it's a war party traffic noise here but it is what it is and a big down look at that thing <laughs> yep yep pretty cool everybody <laughs> so we figured we could do a review of this park um, from our couch but then we thought why bother we'll do it from the hot tub so <laughs> hi it's like 76 degrees here it's beautiful it's wonderful and that's outside the hot tub in the hot tub it's probably 100 and so I love it <laughs> yeah so anyway um, we got here yesterday 
And we're here for two weeks. Yep, two weeks. Yeah. Mesa Spirit RV Park in Mesa, Arizona. Yep. It's our first thousand trails Encore RV park we've stayed at. Yep. Came in, signed the register, paid no money. Gotta love that. Yep. <laughs> two weeks, not going to cost us anything to be here. Except for, for our membership, basically. Yeah. So. But that's for the year, yeah. not for the two weeks here. Yeah. So. That's what's awesome. Hell of a deal. Um, they do have, Rick said, how many do they have spots? It's like 1,667 <laughs> yeah. spots here. It's huge. It's huge. It's like a little it's town huge. trying to find the right roads to get in and out yeah. is interesting. I think I've got it down. I at least know how to get to the pool. That's like priorities, <laughs> right? Um, we have a lemon tree. Well, we thought it was a lemon tree. Turns out it's probably a grapefruit. Tree. Yeah, like a different kind of grapefruit because it's really red inside, a yellow, and small, and kind of yellowish skin, greenish skin. Maybe I just had. I'm sure it's not ripe yet. Yeah, one thing, but I don't know. But it was cool. Yeah. It's really cool. They're at every RV spot, so every yeah. spot has a little tree there. So it's really cool. So you have here like permanent residents and people that are like annual return. You know, they come down for the year or whatever. Mm -hmm. People have kind of built up their whole outdoor areas. You've got people with lights and decking, and you've done all sorts of stuff. It's really cute. Yeah. Um, it does have a bit of the sardine feel. It's they not pack that bad. them. It's, it's not bad, it, but they it, pack really, them in. Really, the the space width isn't bad at all. It's just on the side away from our door. It's going to be really close to whoever's yeah. next to us. Yeah. Their driveway, basically. Yeah. yeah. Where they park, where they park their car or whatever. But yeah. Really, I mean, we're we're 20 feet from our neighbors on the one side. And yeah. Since we don't have a neighbor on the other side, we're probably 25, 30 feet away from the ones on the other yeah. side. So there's, so we're, we're in a good spot. And there's good room. Yeah. And it's it's a so, I mean, it's it a, is an age restricted park. park. So everybody here is 55 plus at least one person, um, because we know I'm not that age. Yeah, that's where it pays to have an old guy for a husband, huh? Yep, she yep. gets to go to the cool parks with me. There you go. <laughs> so, advantages. No kids running around screaming and yeah. yelling. Now, while I love kids, all of you that have young kids, I love you guys. <laughs> I love your kids. I'm enjoying the non-kid noise, really. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of nice. There's a miniature golf course. Yeah. Miniature golf. They've got a... They've got a wood shop, they've got a lapidary shop, they have a silver shop, yeah. uh, a quilting shop, yeah. uh, active, they've got ballroom, they got I mean, all kinds of activities going yep. on. We're going to have to figure out what's, what's going on the rest of the week and see what's, yep. what's happening and get in on some of that. But yeah. Anyway, it's, it's a nice it's place. Nice. It's huge, just huge. I mean, I'll it show is. you around the pool here a little bit. But there's another pool back there's, over there. Yeah, there's three pools all together here. I mean, this is this is the hot tub that we're in. One of two. One of two hot tubs, and then we've got the main swimming pool over there. Light really sucks, so we're we're trying to do it from here, so where you can maybe see our faces a little bit. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm still not sure how this is gonna turn out. We're we'll trying. see. It's okay. Yeah. He's always a pessimist. I'm optimistic. Yeah, well, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just used to shit going wrong, you know. <laughs> but it hasn't today. Nope. Today's been a good day. Yeah. I came, I took a little bit longer on my lunch break from work today and swam for a bit and it's kind of nice. Yeah. It is. I'm not stressing over my hair not being done or my makeup, <laughs> you know, all over the place. I'm like enjoying the fact that I got to swim for lunch and after yeah. Rick off, off work. In November. In November. <laughs> so, this is one of many great days to come. Mm -hmm. Bye, you guys. See ya. <laughs>